As you can tell from the circuit diagram, this electricity required practical question is going to ask us to fill in a couple of gaps. So it's about how resistance of a wire varies with length, more on that later. First of all is to look at where we place our ammeter and our voltmeter. Now our ammeter can go anywhere in the circuit because ammeters um, measure current and current is the same anywhere in this circuit. And the voltmeter, as simple as V, but voltmeters have to be connected in parallel. So that goes across the wire because um, that's what we're investigating. Next up, we've got the dreaded six marker. It says, describe how the student would obtain the, obtain the data needed for the investigation. We need to include uh, a risk assessment for one hazard in the investigation. So what we're investigating from the previous page is how length affects resistance. I've put the circuit diagram here to help us out. Now, it's absolutely fine to use bullet points. I'd encourage it for practical questions. So let's use that method. So first of all, what are we going to use these pieces of equipment for? So V is a voltmeter, A is an ammeter. We're going to measure or record um, using the voltmeter and ammeter, the voltage or PD um, and the current. So record with PD using the voltmeter and the current using the ammeter. Next thing we're going to do is look at, well, how does that help us find out the resistance? Well, there is an equation, which you don't need to remember anymore, um, but you can say calculate, work out the resistance, because that's what we're trying to find out in this question, um, by using the equation or by using this bit here, by using resistance equals PD or voltage divided by current. That's what we need to write there. So the next bit of the question, we're going to go back to what the investigation is about. How does length affect resistance? So we have to change the length to be able to investigate that. So we're going to change the length um, by um, increasing uh, between. Uh, now, it could be crocodile clips or leads. Um, I'm just going to say leads here. It doesn't actually mention in the question. Um, so it's used crocodile clips here. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to say by, let's say, 10 centimeters. Okay. Then what we do uh, is repeat... Um, steps one and two so to measure the resistance each time and do this for several let's say uh, eight different lengths okay now you might be wondering uh, what this thing is here uh, in my investigation so this is a variable resistor um, now the whole point of this is to change the resistance in the circuit and that's where one of our risk assessments could come in so we could say use the variable resistor and we're going to use it to keep the current low um, to prevent it uh, getting hot. Okay, so the, how it gets hot um, is the hazard in the investigation and the risk assessment is, well, what am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna keep the current nice and low.